how does the lymphatic system have an effect on the musculoskeletal system? And does it have any effect on muscular contraction? Wow. Well, I would say that there is specific anatomy in the muscular skeletal system, but it's just first the answer is what the lymphatic system does to any tissue. It's going to increase the immune system, lymphocyte circulation. It's going to help tissue regeneration. So it's going to have, you know, if the tissue is, is in proper shape and have less uh, um, waste product, it's going to, the muscle is going to contract better. It's going to have less spasm because you're going to bring uh, parasympathetic stimulation there. So you can work on spastic muscle, cramps. You know, cramp is really good. When you have somebody doing sport, they have cramp. They just drain it immediately. They feel so much better because you probably evacuate some of the toxin. They used to say lactic acid. They're not sure anymore. So you have a lot of effect. And now we discover that you have lymphatic vessels deep inside the bones. And the bones have a lot of action. You know, it's a reserve of calcium, of minerals. It's a reserve of fat with the bone marrow. It's a, it's a, it's a, a strong structure that uh, is also gland now. You know, the bone is a gland. You all know that. It's an endocrine gland because we discover about 15 years ago something called osteocalcine. And osteocalcine is something that has a lot of effect in, uh, in the immune system also. So, um, um, for example, in I think it's 2017, 2019, they took out the adrenal of rats. And, you know, the cortex of the adrenal, you have cortisol in the medulla in the center. You have adrenaline, noradrenaline. So all that is your stress response. If you take out your adrenal, there's no stress response. So they stress the rats and they realize that the full fledged stress response. Like, what are we missing? How can you have a stress response from those bones? And um, they realize that the bones secrete a substance called a protein called osteocalcin. And that is going to, in every bone, is going to create this stress response. So you, Bones are monitoring the environment and receiving information to create the stress response. And you have some expression, you know, my I'm cold in my bones or not, maybe related to that or not. So the lymphatic system, by helping bone regeneration, you know, is helping all those responses to happen properly. So all the actions of the lymphatics, you know, are going to work there. Um, um, now, we know that in the limbs, you have about maybe 70%, sometimes 80%, of the lymphatic system above the fascia. So you have much more circulation for the skin, the derm, the epidermis, and a bit less below the fascia, but still have, you still have a lot of flow in your muscles, helping their contraction in the skeletal system. In all the system in the body, they do the same thing in every system, regenerating, cleaning, you know, bringing consciousness, bringing immune cells, and many, many other functions. Does that make sense? 